Hi there, and thank you for tuning in to Monoprice.com on our YouTube channel. My name is Steven of the Monoprice Tech Support Team. In today's tutorial, second episode of Own Cable Build Series, we'll be showing you how to make your own TRS cable. The TRS connector was invented for telephone switchboards in the 20th century and it's still widely used. The connector's name comes from the initials of its conducting parts, tip, ring, and sleeve. The TRS is used to make a balanced connection. This is a commonly used small audio mixer. Not only small mixer, but lots of audio equipment uses TRS connector instead of XLR, because TRS can save the space of the connecting part. For this installation, you're going to need a few tools. You'll need a wire stripper, some side cutters, a soldering iron, some solder, and a drill or a screwdriver. First thing you're going to want to do is take your side cutters, grab your desired length of cable, and cut it. Be careful not to cut yourself when stripping the cable. Next, you're going to need to strip your cable. Grab your wire stripper, and give it a few good twists. Which will slide right off. Now do this to both ends for each connection. Inside your cable you'll find three conductors. The white conductor goes with the hot or the positive, then black conductor will be your cold or return, and the silver conductor goes with your ground. Next, let's ship your cables. First, we're going to make your XLR connection. Disconnect the rear half with the two screws. And slide this over the body of the cable. Next, let's solder your connections. The terminals will be labeled 1, 2, and 3. Number 1 is ground, number 2 is hot or positive, number 3 is cold or return. Use this connection guide for soldering your TRS cable. Now just reassemble your connector and you're done. Slide the two pieces back up. Make sure this one is securely in place. Slide the boot back up. Make sure it clips in and then reinsert the screws. And you're done. Next, we're gonna make your TRS connection. Remember to move the rear sleeve and slide it over the cable before you do any soldering. Now that we have that done, we can separate the cables and begin to solder them to the terminal. Be careful not to burn yourself when you solder the cable. Ow! Alright, once you're done, simply slide this connector back up. Now remember this tip is going to be hot. You just twist it back on. And you're done. You now have an XLR to a TRS cable. After soldering your cable, use a cable tester to make sure your cable is working properly. To find this product on the web, go to monoprice.com, click on the search bar, and type in product ID number 6208. If you need help or have any questions, feel free to contact Monoprice Tech Support Team via live chat at monoprice.com. Once again, my name is Steven, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.